Come on, guys. So today we're going to be doing this gothic vampy butterfly makeup tutorial. I also DIY'd a Halloween costume. The wings are from Party City, which I would not recommend because they like to be parallel to the floor. The tutu I got off of Amazon and then the corset is from Adore Me, which I'm freaking in love with. They do sell Halloween costumes on there, but I just kind of DIY'd mine and put it together on my own. I'm just in love with this lace. I think it's so pretty. I'll leave a link to Adore Me down below. You guys should check it out because they have tons of Halloween costumes. I'm super excited about this look, so I hope you guys like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I got this look, if you're in the right place, just keep watching. Alright, we are starting with a blank canvas, pinning back the hair, got the caffeine, and we're ready to go. All of the products I'm using will be listed down below like always, but I'm just starting out with a liquid eyeliner. You want to choose one that has a really fine point and that's easy to control. So I'm taking a card. This is going to give us a super clean line without trying at all. It's great. You want to place the card directly up from the corner of your eye. It's up to you how far out you want to go. I didn't want a super, super intense wing for this look, so this is what I did. And then you just want to do your best to make the other side as even as possible. Then what we're going to do, taking that same eyeliner, is start almost to the top of that point and just drag it over so we're creating this kind of diamond shape. It's okay if the liner goes inside it because we're going to be filling it in anyways, but you want to make sure the outside lines are as clean as possible. Work with your eye shape, but I'm basically putting it directly in my crease so you can see when I open my eye, it's not above that fold. Then you're going to completely fill it in halfway to your eye. And I'm just using the other Milani eyeliner for this just because it's quicker, but use whatever you have. Getting a good shape is all just practice. If you're going to be wearing this look for Halloween, I would maybe test it out a few times before. And before you wash your face at night, just play around with your eyeliner and see what shape works for your eye. We're taking a black coal liner and I'm just rubbing this all over the lid. We're going to go in with a brush afterwards and blend it out. Again, you want to make sure this doesn't go above the fold of your crease. If you don't know where your crease is, you can either look down and see where your eye bone is, or what you can do is open your eye and make a little mark right where your eyelid meets your eye bone, if that makes sense. I'm going in with this Sedona Lace Brush just to kind of disperse the product and blend it around. This is going to help serve as a base for all of the colors that we're putting on top of it. And for all of the shadows pretty much in this look, we're using the Urban Decay Vice Palette. If you have any similar colors, go for it. This is just what I had. And is that upside down? Yeah, it was. We're going to start by taking Beat Down, which is this dark blue, dark purple color. And I'm just putting this right where that liquid liner meets the pencil liner and just tapping that on. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, obviously. I decided that I wanted to blend the crease a little bit before we put other colors on top, just because it can kind of make it muddy sometimes. So I'm going in with Bitter from the Vice Palette and mostly just blending this towards the front of my eye. I kind of want to leave that tail end of the liner blank. I'm packing on 1985, which is a fuchsia color, in the middle of my eye and blending it into that blue color. The key to this look is just making sure all those colors are blended into each other. Then I'm taking ColourPop Flamingo, and I don't know why the shade is called Flamingo, but we're putting this on the inner third part of my eye, and I'm not bringing this down to the lower lash line at all. I'm just keeping this right in that inner corner. This has a really pretty sparkle to it, and it just looks really good on top of this black. Then we're going back in with Bitter, which is this warm brown shade, which I actually really like, and I'm blending this on the bottom lash line all over. Just blend away. Go for it. I found this Jordana cat eyeliner in the shade Orchid in my drawer, and it's actually really pretty. We're putting this on the bottom lash line, and then also putting this right on the center of the eye. Sounds weird, but it works. We're going to be packing on another eyeshadow on top of this, and it just really makes it pop. Like, whoa, look at that blue. You can change whatever color this is depending on your outfit or whatever color you want more of. You could add pink on top of here. You could add whatever you're feeling. 
I am packing on this shadow with my finger when the liner is still wet. This is just going to help give it this super, super metallic look, which is really exciting. Going back in with 1985 on my finger, and we're putting this between the blue and the purple just to blend again. Again, use whatever colors that you want, but just make sure that they're blended into each other. You want to try to keep the wing all black throughout this whole process. If you get a little shadow on it, it's fine. Just go back over it with the liner. And now I'm putting white waterline, white eyeliner on my waterline. There we go. And then blending that dark blue shade that we started with on the outer third just to kind of smoke it out. I'm taking this Luxe Beauty. It's actually a face highlighter, but I'm putting this on my inner corner. And look at that freaking blue. This gives the prettiest, like, mermaidy fairy blue shade and we're also going to use this later on our face as a highlight. This is beautiful if you have pale skin and I feel like this is a super unique color. Going in with some liquid liner, I'm running this right on my lash line just doing a super thin line. And it's time for the face. We're going to go in with the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette, one of my favorites. And I'm just contouring and sculpting out the cheekbones a little bit. I did go back in with one of the darker shades because I wanted a little bit more of a warm look to the face. And I'm just putting this on my temples. And then we're going to go back in with that Luxe Beauty highlight. And I believe this is in the shade Luna, but it'll be linked down below. And look at this. The camera wasn't even really picking up how crazy iridescent blue this is. If you want to feel like a mermaid at all times, pick up that highlight. Next, we're going in with the Pure Minerals blush. The Wet n Wild one to my right is a cheaper option. And we're just putting this on the apples of our cheeks. It gives a super pretty rosy pink glow. And this isn't super pigmented, so it's easy to blend out. I'm applying some mascara to our lashes before we pop on some falsies um, just to cover our natural lashes. And falsies are completely up to you whether you want to wear them or not. But here are two options, the Socialized Vixen and House of Lashes. No, Oh My Lash. What are these? Shit. Oh My Lash Love Speaks Lashes. These are super intense. You definitely could probably fly away with these. I love them though. I feel like it completes the eye look. And I'm just blending in my natural lashes, and then we're applying some bottom mascara. My favorite, Wet n Wild Mega Length. Amazing. And we're just really coating these. Coat it up, ladies. For lips, I'm trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Midnight Liquid Lipstick. This is the first liquid lipstick I've tried from her. I liked it. It does feel definitely more moisturizing than the ColourPop ones, but it is really liquidy, so it can kind of move around easily when you're trying to apply it. That is everything. I hope you guys like this look. If you do, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Okay, these things are bigger than my room. Cool.